Mr. Valdis Dombrovskis on the line, live from Riga, for his reactions for, of the uh, exit polls in Latvia. Welcome, Mr. Dombrovskis. Uh, good evening. As the former Prime Minister of Latvia, Mr. Dombrovskis, you took some important measures to tackle the economic crisis and led Latvia into the Eurozone. Uh, well, uh, in yes, exactly. Yeah. In addition to being Latvia's longest serving Prime Minister, you've also been an MEP, so we're very interested to hear your thoughts on what's happening in Latvia this evening. Well, uh, yes, as regards uh, election results in uh, Latvia, we're so certainly uh, looking uh, forward, but some uh, uh, preliminary uh, information we have uh, seem to be indicating that uh, our party, Unity, has uh, gotten uh, four seats out of eight which are allocated uh, to Latvia, uh, uh, which means that it's a clear uh, victory for EPP in uh, Latvia. So let us be one of the first to congratulate you on these early indications. And John, do you have a question yeah. for Mr. Dombrovskis? I saw that it looked like four seats uh, uh, for the Unity Party, uh, how is uh, how do you think that the uh, the election results play out with the mindset in in Latvia at the moment? There is the, uh, the Euro introduction that took place uh, earlier this year. There's the ongoing crisis nearby in Ukraine, and of course the Russian knock-on effect. How do you interpret these results so far? Well, uh, I would say that this uh, Euro introduction in Latvia was not much of a pre-election uh, topic uh, during this uh, campaign. Uh, basically, no one was uh, campaigning that it was a good idea, uh, sorry, it was a bad idea to introduce uh, Euro. Uh, if anything, our party unity we were taking uh, uh, credit for actually having uh, introduced uh, Euro. Uh, uh, situation in Ukraine, Russia's aggression against Ukraine, it was uh, on contrary very much uh, a campaign topic because it was uh, happening exactly during pre-election uh, campaign and I believe it was also uh, shaping uh, people's uh, responses. Okay. So how I'd uh, like to inter interpret those uh, results, that people, it looks that people were uh, voting for uh, stability for uh, further uh, sustainable uh, development and for predictable uh, uh, policy of uh, political uh, parties. And that's why uh, Unity, which is also a, a leading uh, partner in a coalition and the Prime Minister's party was uh, receiving uh, such a big uh, support in uh, uh, Latvia. So basically people voted for stability. Absolutely. Mr. Dombrovskis, you yourself were at one time uh, a possible candidate for the Commission presidency. How do you uh, assess Mr. Juncker's uh, chances now? What's, what's your rating? Well, uh, it uh, looks that uh, EPP could be able to win uh, this uh, election, and uh, then I think uh, that EPP should actually uh, stand with uh, uh, its uh, candidate. It means that uh, EPP heads on state and government uh, should be uh, supportive of uh, uh, Juncker's uh, candidacy uh, during this uh, next uh, meeting, uh, which is going to uh, 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 next uh, summit, which is going to take uh, place. Uh, uh, just in a couple of days. Mr. Dobrovsky, uh, this is Chris Burns. A uh, question about oh. how, you know, usually the party that, that, is, that is running the show in a country uh, gets punished in these, in these uh, European elections. It doesn't seem to be the case here. Why is that? Well, uh, I was uh, already trying to uh, explain. I believe that uh, in uh, this uh, also quite uncertain uh, geopolitical situation, uh, people were voting for stability and uh, for uh, predictable uh, politics. But can you so, be a little bit more specific on, on what issues do you think were, were resonating among voters enough for them to vote for you? Uh, well, uh, certainly it was Department. our uh, key uh, message to ensure sustainable economic development, to ensure uh, job creation, and uh, as a means of achieving this, we believe we need to strengthen both Europe's and Latvia's competitiveness. That was our main uh, campaign message. And a second, which was certainly a big uh, factor, it's the situation uh, in uh, Ukraine. So we believe, and it is uh, again our message, that we should be uh, strengthening also uh, Europe's uh, common foreign security uh, policy, so that Europe is uh, able to react on uh, situations uh, like this in its uh, uh, neighborhood. And uh, certainly uh, this uh, situation, uh, I believe, has helped to focus uh, minds 
in a sense that uh, there were many fears that uh, there will be uh, people voting for some kind of a, a fringe parties or Eurosceptic parties. Uh, it was uh, definitely not the case in Latvia. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Dombrovskis. Thank and you. we hope that these results turn into real results later on in the evening. Now, Chris, we were previously discussing the situation